welcome to the Pali demonstration of smart irrigation system for uh, motor safety using low raga medication so here the motor safety will be achieved with the help of the three phase checking nothing but single phasing so whenever any single phase uh, got fail then the system will identify that and it will inform to the so called status with the help of this LoRa and the data will be received by this another LoRa module which is a act as a receiver module so generally the LoRa nothing but uh, they are like transceivers so means we can use one LoRa module as a transmitter and receiver so in this this is going to be the transmitter section and also receiver module because we are going to send the status of these three phases which phase is on which phase is off from here to the LoRa receiver and from there to the Bluetooth module will send the data to the Android mobile phone. So by seeing that we can control the motor. So means coming to the controlling section with the help of this electromagnetic relay we are going to on and off the motor manually and automatically. So manual nothing but if you want to on the motor then by sending just one or zero from our mobile phone the motor will be on and off. So when the motor is running, while running if is there any single phasing fault occurred, I think but any phase was gone, then it will inform to you about the which phase is active, which phase is off and uh, parallelly we are going to isolate the power supply to the motor in order to uh, secure that. So here we are using the current sensing uh, like uh, transformer sections to check the presence of particular phase and that was interfaced A0, A1, A2 pins and next interfacing of this LoRa modulate C6, C7 and C5 for this electromagnetic relay and directly whenever the fault is occurred the microcontroller will take a decision without uh, like another uh, interval directly we are going to isolate the power supply to the motor by switching off the relay so here let us see the demonstration before switching on the kits we need to install one application that is HC05 application from the play store so this is the application which is available in the play store directly we need to install this ok after installation you can switch on the power supply for the three phases so this is the main phase for a motherboard power supply and this is going to be the Y phase and this is, is a B phase. So after we switch on that power supply to the each phase is now we can switch on our Bluetooth section module. So once you switch on the gate, there is a light uh, blinking very fast on the Bluetooth module. We can see that as it's showing the searching for a uh, L2P pair. And now go to the bluetooth settings of your phone initially and uh, search for a bluetooth module uh, wait till it will display the hc05 so once it's displayed hc05 you can tap to connect and then it will ask for the password the password is going to be the 12345 1234 right we got hc05 and same the password is 1234 and pair so once pairing was successfully done from this section, uh, go to the application, so SC05 and open that. There you get the SC05 number as it is coming to the history. Right. So you can see all phases are on. So now if you want to on the motor here, type 1, send ASCII. Then the motor is got switched on. And apparently total phases are on if you want off manually zero to off the motor so in this app better to use these buttons so click on the button so button one one so disable these two and save and coming to the button 2 so here type 0 you can rename the button 2 also motor off like save now uh, 
rich. This is a loose contract for the Bluetooth power supply. What? So now we can on the motor, we can off the motor directly. Okay. So this is a manual controlling of the system. Now, so if automatic off, let us see. So now we have sent the command to on the motor. So it's disconnected, and then just restart the Bluetooth module. So if any uh, phase was gone, so let us go with keep R phase always on. So if you want to remove that, you can remove directly from here. So this is the R, Y, and B. Okay. So I'm remo removing the, for example, Y phase. So automatically the motor got switched off, and we'll get the status of Y phase is off. So reconnect the Y phase to the same slot again. So connect it back. So now the total phase is on. So now again, you can on the motor again. Coming to the B phase. Else you can uh, disconnect that power supply to the current sensing circuit also. After phase back, it won't get switched on until you switch on it manually. Right. 